Madagascar is one of the poorest places in the world. It is home to some of the most extraordinary flora and fauna on Earth and is widely regarded as one of the planet's highest conservation priorities. While international attention has been focused on mainland Africa, Madagascar, the world's fourth largest island, has been largely forgotten. The survival of Madagascar and its people are in the balance. People here struggle every day for survival. There is never enough food. Very, very rarely is there any clean water. Life here is extremely difficult. As a Fadi is a small British charity, a Malagash NGO, that works on a wide array of projects to protect the environment and the lives of people in southeast Madagascar. One in ten die before the age of five from absolutely preventable illnesses or things that they catch from drinking dirty water. Every little bit of effort that Azafadi and the pioneers put into this region is having direct immediate impact on people's lives. Azafadi provides clean drinking water, health and sanitation infrastructure and health education to isolated communities. Every time a group of pioneers completes a well in a community it's saving lives every single day for decades to come. Azafadi is working with local people to help them protect what is left of their forest by giving them viable and sustainable alternatives to slash and burn. We have high level of uh, endemicity of species in Madagascar, but we cannot have them longer because the deforestation we have lost so many species already because the distribution of species are localized in one area. So if you do lose the area where they do alive, they go away. The impact is not uh, locally. It's like a uh, world's problem if you do lose uh, on species. The Malagash people depend on the forest products for food, shelter, fuel, clothes and medicine. Endemic to the Madagascan forest, the endangered rosy periwinkle is highly prized by the West for its natural anti-carcinogenic properties. For Gary, uh, the cancer, uh, mal au ventre, fève jaune. Beaucoup de servir à cette place, c'était intéressant, très intéressant. Companies in, uh, in the Western world actually generate somewhere around 250 million pounds uh, per year from, these, from the sale of these drugs at the same time as children in southeast Madagascar. Uh, are dying in the same areas where the rosy periwinkle is growing at their feet. It's not just about safeguarding endangered species, it's also about finding a sustainable future for Madagascar's people. As a FADIS, sustainable livelihoods projects help people generate an income, particularly where this puts money straight into the hands of women and improves nutrition and food security. Pioneers come from around the world to work with Azafadi on the ground, attempting to break the cycle of poverty and environmental degradation in Madagascar. Azafadi is uh, very different from many of the other organisations that are available for people to volunteer with. The major difference is that Azafadi was set up as a charity and uh, the work which we do is solely aimed at benefiting the local people. The Pioneer Scheme has grown out of that. Of course, Pioneer is in itself quite an entertaining thing and it does give people um, quite a vocational experience which we hope they'll take further. But ultimately, it's about local people and local people's needs. They've done such a wide variety of things from helping fishermen build shrimp cages, building beehives with a remote community, collecting bees from the forest, 
climbing mountains to look for endangered plants, canoeing across crocodile infested rivers to collect an orchid that's just been discovered. The list is endless and really there's an enormous variety of things that they get involved in. The health work which we're doing is uh, hopefully aiming to uh, intercept at various different points of, uh, of the problem, tackling the source of the problem um, by working on health education, trying to get people to uh, understand the connections between clean drinking water and the basic healthcare aspect. Even if like two of those kids go home and remember the song and wash their hands before they eat as, as a result of it, I think we'd all feel like it was worthwhile making complete and fools of ourselves at the front of the classroom. We're also trying to help the people that are, are already ill by building village pharmacies. We've built some 30, 35 pharmacies so far, meaning that people in these remote communities can get access to drugs which can save lives. We've also got a mobile doctor working with people that, uh, that have got higher level illnesses such as cholera um, and uh, malaria and things like that. Is we're encouraging people to use latrines and to use toilets which we've done a lot of work to make sure that those toilets are presented in a culturally sensitive way so we're protecting the water we're dealing with the causes and we're also dealing with the symptoms of the problem after people have got ill and hopefully in a few years time we'll start to see a massive difference to that scary one in ten infant mortality rate the local people see the pioneer coming down here and live like Malagash people working and doing everything. They, they are surprised to see all of that thing. They are happy because uh, they think that you, do, you don't do that in your uh, country. That encourage us to do more. It's amazing and yet it's also quite depressing in some ways. It's massively cool and it's massively deforested. It's never, it's never easy living here, but the people are just incredible and it makes working here just such a pleasure. Although we're here to do a serious thing, it's also it's difficult not to enjoy yourself. Work you never thought you'd do in your life. Work you'll probably never do again in your life. Work that Madagascan people do all the time, every day. That's really hard. And work that's great fun with Madagascan people. The most beautiful beaches I've ever seen in my life. I think the most beautiful beaches in the world. Amazing colours. Getting up at the crack of dawn because you want to, not because you have to. The people are the friendliest people in the world and they have absolutely nothing. They'll share their last plate of rice with you. They are the real joy of being in Madagascar. The smiles and the laughs that you share with people here. Come in Madagascar and join the, the party, and uh, you'll see uh, the life of the people here, which is many Western country have never thought about what is life here. From the community's point of view, it gives them a lot of awareness and motivation in their daily activities because they are always wondering how can that people who live far away on the other side of the ocean came here just to help us with our problem. If there is someone who came to help you, then that means for us that we have to help to move ourselves, to help ourselves important for all people over the world to come and uh, help us to preserve our uh, biodiversity. It's not only all nature because we do live in this country. We need really help from people who are able to help us.